This station is designed to test a candidate's ability to provide both basic and advanced airway management to an apneic adult patient who has a pulse and no injuries. Candidates do not have a specific time to complete the station. Candidates at this station are required to sequentially demonstrate initial simple airway and ventilation maneuvers and then successfully intubate the mannequin. This is a non-trauma station, so cervical precautions are not necessary. You will have three attempts to secure the tube. Oxygenation and ventilation are both desired, so limit your time for both intubation attempts. If you cannot place a tube within 30 seconds, go back to the basics and ventilate effectively, and then try to intubate again. This station requires the candidate to successfully provide ventilation, oxygenation, and intubation. Equipment at this station includes an airway mannequin, bag valve mask, supplemental oxygen, intubation supplies, airway adjuncts, and personal protective equipment. The main sections of this station are basic airway management, bag valve mask ventilation, supplemental oxygenation, equipment preparation, intubation procedure, and endotracheal tube suctioning. Welcome to the Adult Innovation Station. Check your equipment, make sure that you're prepared, you have everything. I do, thank you. You are called to the residence of a 50-year-old male, unresponsive, already determined to be in respiratory arrest. Okay. I'm going to have my scene safe, my body substance isolation, and also before I do this, is it a medical or a trauma patient? It is a medical. Okay. I'm going to check for alertness, and also while I'm doing that, I'm going to go in and check and listen for any breathing. I don't hear any. I'm going to do a head tilt, chin lift, look, listen, and feel. No breathing. First, I'm going to measure the airway from the corner of his mouth to the earlobe. I'm going to insert the airway. There is no gag reflex present, and the patient does accept the adjunct. Okay. I'm going to hyperventilate my patient on room air. The patient's pulse oximetry shows 85%. Okay. I'd like to hook him up to supplemental oxygen at a 10 to 15 liters per minute. Breath sounds are present, equal bilaterally, and medical direction has ordered innovation. Okay, if I could get a helper to bag for me. I'm going to go ahead and check my endotracheal um, equipment. I'm going to make sure that my bulb is tight and bright. And make sure that my cuff inflates properly and is strong. Okay, you hyperventilate my patient. I'm going to go ahead and remove the adjunct and prepare to intubate. I'm going to go ahead and visualize the cords and insert my endotracheal tube. I'm going to go ahead and remove my stylet. Inflate my cuff to 10 cc's. Um, first, I would go on ahead and auscultate over the lungs bilaterally. If you had proper placement, what should you expect to hear? If I can get someone to help me to bag this while I do that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to auscultate bilaterally over both lungs and also over the epigastrium. And additionally, I can use the bulb syringe with the air coming back, it means that I'm in the tracheum. You can also use the entitled CO2 detector, making sure that it turns yellow. And it does. At this time, I'd like to secure my tube. Placing the strap around his neck, making sure not to jostle him too much. 
You now okay. see secretions in the tube and hear gurgling sounds with the patient's exhalation. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and have my assistant bag my patient again while I prepare to suction. I'm going to prepare all my suction equipment. Okay. I'm going to insert the suction until I meet resistance, which I have. Suction only upon withdrawal for 15 seconds or more, no less. Okay. Is there anything else you would like to do? No, ma'am. This completes your airway station. Thank you. Begin the station by indicating that the proper personal protective equipment is being used. Begin this station as if you have already determined that the patient is apneic. Open the airway and insert an airway adjunct such as an OPA. Maintain a good seal and begin ventilation at a rate of 10 to 12 breaths per minute. Watch for the chest to rise and fall. Use the oxygen tubing to attach the bag mask device to the oxygen delivery system. Adjust the flow rate to 15 liters per minute. Continue providing ventilation at the proper rate and volume. Direct the examiner to take over ventilation while you prepare the equipment for intubation. With the equipment check complete, position the patient's head. Insert the laryngoscope blade, displacing the tongue until the vocal cords are visualized. Introduce the tube and advance it to the proper depth. Inflate the cuff and disconnect the syringe. Auscultate bilaterally over each lung and the epigastrium to confirm the proper tube placement. Use an additional method to confirm tube placement, such as attaching an end cap CO2 device and secure the tube. Select a flexible catheter and determine its maximum insertion length. Insert the catheter into the ET tube while leaving the port open. At the proper depth, cover the port to apply suction while withdrawing the catheter. Ventilate the patient. The examiner checks the candidate's performance against the critical criteria for the station. The critical criteria for this station that would have resulted in failure were failing to take or verbalize the use of body substance isolation precautions, failing to provide initial ventilations within 30 seconds, or interrupting ventilations for greater than 30 seconds at any time, failing to provide a high oxygen concentration, failing to ventilate at an appropriate rate and with adequate volume with each breath failing to pre-oxygenate prior to intubation, failing to successfully intubate within three attempts, failing to disconnect the syringe after inflating the cuff of the ET tube, using the teeth as a fulcrum, failing to confirm proper tube placement, performing a procedure that would be dangerous to the patient, including extending a stylet beyond the end of the ET tube, and failing to provide proper suctioning technique. This station is generally not problematic for most candidates, but those who fail the station normally do so because they took too long to innovate or failed to innovate within three attempts. Be familiar with the particular mannequin you will use at this test site and practice on several different mannequins whenever possible.